North, South, East, West. West. We have Miss Nina West. You were just singing the theme song for us. Can you give it to us for on camera? Amazing. Amazing. Now we know who to call when we want it live. Thank you. It's me. Hello. Just a phone call away. I got to say, it's been such a pleasure watching you this season. You're so genuine. You're so kind. You are you through and through. It shows on camera. The fans are noticing. You're a clear favorite for Miss Congeniality. That's got to make you feel so good. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome to come out of an experience where it wasn't the result you wanted, but it's better than the result you thought you were going to get. And I am just on cloud nine. I'm really grateful to uh, Rue and to this entire team and the world for giving me this opportunity and allowing me and my story to connect with them. I, this is, I'm really grateful and humbled by all of this. And I gotta say, I had to fight troves and troves of fans who are waiting for <laughs> I you. It's I mean, crazy. this is so awesome. I, I didn't, I didn't expect this at all when I came to DragCon. I thought it would be really quiet and easy, and this is uh, busy and easy. And it's, this is the best part about doing the show is meeting the fans and talking to them and talking about how they connected to me and about their own story and allowing them to have their time. It's the greatest gift is to sit here and talk to fans. I love it. I completely agree. For the fans that aren't able to make it, can you give them a taste of what DragCon is like? Tell, can you paint the picture for them? DragCon, when you walk in, the first thing you see is this long pink carpet, which is really just kind of like the yellow brick road. It's just kind of leading you down this path of all things fabulous and drag and queer. What we're celebrating really is queer art form and queer community and, this, and children everywhere and their parents and these families and these young kids who are embracing the art and embracing what drag means, which is to be just your authentic self and be loud and celebratory. It's incredible to stand in this environment where 10 years ago this probably would never have happened. I'm, it's just amazing. It is amazing, the family aspect. I mean, young kids dressing as their yeah, favorite queen. Like even if you're talking about high school students or, or, or college kids. I mean, like to, to me, they're all kind of kids. Like you know, but like, but all of these young people embracing and celebrating themselves and the art form. It's amazing, and in turn, queens. It's incredible. Gotta ask top four queens. What are your thoughts? You went to the finale. I know you can't say much. I, I, um, well, uh, I am always Team Brooklyn. Brooklyn's been my girl for about ten years, um, but I'm also Team Evie. I think Evie is a uh, going to be a quiet and deadly uh, wrench in the works of that final four. I'm really excited to see what happens because I think no one is safe. And once this day's wrapped and you have a little bit of time to rest, I know there's not very much rest for you. <laughs> what is next coming up for you? Oh, uh, we're going to we're working on a children's book. We're working on um, some other really exciting projects for um, families and for queer families and queer parents and their children. Um, but we're also going to keep touring and taking the message of love and kindness and fabulous entertainment on the road. And I'll be going uh, to Europe over the summer and Australia in the fall and just keep working on spreading some really good energy and love.